this tutorial I'm going to use the knowledge gained in the previous tutorials to create a simple skeletal model of a piece of furniture. So as it stands I have the excel sheet set up like in the last tutorials and um, with parameters such as length, width and leg length. The associated sizes of each and I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to save this and create a link to the actual inventor drawing. I'm going to start off as usual now again by drawing a simple rectangle. I'm going to import and link the parameters from the Excel sheet to the inventor drawing. I'm going to now follow the same steps as I carried out previously. I'm just going to, to mention the rectangle and apply the parameters as they stand in the Excel sheet. I'm going to um, create a constraint as well in this rectangle. I want the middle of the rectangle to be the origin of the drawing which is 0, 0, 0. Um, this 0, 0, 0 represents the 0 of the x, the y and the z axis. Um, as the tutorial progresses become more clear why I've done this. So I just click on the command, click on two lines and now this rectangle is constrained to the shape that's in at the moment. Now from the origin I'm just going to draw a line to the center point of the side and I'm going to repeat that again now to draw a line to the center point of the bottom line. Using the same constraint again I'm just going to constrain the line to the origin to the side and constrain the line to the origin to the bottom. As you can see at the moment, the rectangle is perfectly centered on the origin. Next, I'm going to draw a simple rectangle just to rep represent the leg of the table. I can dimension this accordingly. And since the leg size represents both the up and down, as in the drawing, and left and right, I'll use the same dimension. As can be seen there, when you click on a dimension of the same size, it will apply the same size to the new dimension. Therefore, to the edge of the table. And also here, I click on the other dimension. Instead of repeating this leg uh, four times for the table, I'm going to mirror it across the line coming from the origin. So just click on mirror, select the area to mirror, click the mirror line, click the line to be mirrored across and apply. Now I have two legs, but now I want to create four. So I carry the exact same steps again, highlight the two legs, click the mirror line. Now in this instance I do not have to click apply. You must apply uh, with the mirror command to carry out the command itself. Some other commands do not require this but mirror this must be done. So I click the mirror line, the line itself, apply and done. Now I have four legs on the table. As I finish the sketch I'm going to open the origin and pick the XY plane and turn on the visibility. Now click plane. This is located at the top toolbar inventor. Click in the plane and drag. The option is now given to insert the parameter. Now since the, the, this plane actually is to go below the XY plane, I'm going to put in minus top thickness. The leg extends from the floor to the top, so I'm going to drag it from the bottom of the top 
again pick the parameter, insert the minus, and click OK. As the drawing stands at the moment, I have the plane that represents the bottom of the leg on the very bottom. The center plane is the bottom of the top, and the top plane is the top of the top. I can now extrude, pick the four legs, I can pick the from and to command, pick the bottom plane, and pick the bottom of the top, and OK. At this stage now, I must turn back on the sketch again, so I can see the sketch. So click visibility, extrude, pick the parts, which is the top, including the four legs. Once again extrude, from and to, and pick the two concerned planes, and OK. At this stage now, I have <clears throat> the table with the top and the four legs. I can just turn off the visibilities to the planes. At this point, it might be necessary to change different parameters of the table or insert, <coughs> insert new parts. This entire table at the moment is totally parametrically driven. So if I go back into my Excel sheet, I can change any of the parameters, save, and once again click Manage and Update of the drawing.